I, I, want, I want him to do the. Uh, huh? I never repeat jokes. Every joke is funky fresh. What? I wasn't streaming two hours ago. Exactly. Yeah. So it's still fresh to them. What is your, what is your deal? Miss, miss four shirts in five minutes. You know what? My wife's gonna come in here and give me crap, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Today, she was, she was cooking food. And she's like, Michael, help. I'm covered in sour cream. And I was like, is this some kind of dirty joke? And I go in there, she is literally covered in sour cream. I think she dropped it and it exploded upward or something. So she's like, get me a clean shirt. I'm like, all right, where? And she's like, yo, blah, 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 top drawer, this is the side. I'm like, all right, fine. So I go upstairs and I, I just grab a shirt. And I come back down, I go to hand it to her. She's covered in sour cream. She looks at the one I hand her and she's like, oh, not that one. And I was like, girl, you are covered in sour cream and picky. So I go back upstairs. So if sour cream is shirt one and I try to hand her shirt two, I go back upstairs and I get another one and I come down. I'm like, here's shirt three. And she's like, that's fine. She changes into it and then she sends me to throw the, the dirty shirt in the washer. And I'm like, that's fine. You know, she, she was cooking and uh, yeah, I could do this. And then a few minutes later, I catch her going upstairs to change into a new shirt. Four shirts in five minutes. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. In my household, we ordered the Mukluk blanket, the, 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 the minky blanket, we ordered that. And they were like, hey, if you order five items or more, you get 20% off. And I was like, hey honey, we can cheat the system by adding some stickers to the order. The stickers are freaking dirt cheap, and then the order va the cost of the order will go down. She's like, let's do it. You're a genius. Oh my gosh, I love that about you. And you know, she, she, she went on and on and on. And so we added some stickers to the order, and we, and, and, and we, we get a bunch of stickers. And you know, we've, we've got the, the, the emblem, and then we've got you know this guy, and then of course, our Lord and Savior. We've got this guy. So we get this, and my wife just goes, ugh. It just like sets this aside. I'm like, wait, what was that? I'm like, what, what was that? Ugh. And I was like, you want this? We maybe put it like up up in the corner of the screen, and you could just be reminded of the the, you know, the wonderful man that you married uh, all those years ago. And she she says, I did not marry that. That she says I did not marry that. That chat. It was it was cutting and sharp. It was, it, it wounded me, chat, in ways I knew not possible. That. And I, I come to you all in, in still in a state of healing. Praise Dennis. Turn your camera off. We just need a static picture of that on screen for the whole stream. Yeah, it'll be like those video calls where you, you trick them into thinking you're responsible. I'll just, I'll just have this hanging here the whole time. The, the new map cover. We'll just put this down whenever I'm in world v world. Just have that in the corner. So my son has this poster in his room and it has the first 150 Pokemon, like one, what is it, Bulbasaur, two Ivysaur, it, it, like in a row. And I went up there and uh, I had read this joke on the internet and my wife and I were putting my son to bed one day. And on the poster, I was like, hey, honey, honey. And she's like, yeah. And I pointed at one of them. I said, who's that? And she's like, Ekans. And I'm like, what is Ekans backwards? And she's like, it's snake. And I was like, uh-huh. And what is Ekans? And she's like, it's a snake. And I'm like, uh-huh. And I point at Arbuck. And I'm like, what's that? And she goes, that's Arbuck. And I was like, uh-huh. And what is Arbuck backwards? And she goes, it's Cobra. And I was like, uh-huh. And I was like, and what is our bug? She goes, it's a cobra. And, I, and she's like, oh, okay, this is cool. And I'm like, yeah. And I point at Muck. And I'm like, who's that? And she goes, Muck. And I'm like, and what's that backwards? And she goes, it's... And she just gives me that deadpan stare. And I, at this point, in my mind, the joke is complete. That's it. We're done. And I just kind of am chuckling. And then my son who at the time was like seven, goes, it's come! Whoops! 
He just yells that because we were putting him to bed. He was like five feet away. And I didn't know he could turn words around yet, chat. I didn't know he had the freaking software for that. I didn't know he had gotten that update. No one told me he got the backwards word software update. I was like, ah, yeah. And my, you know, my wife is just staring daggers at me and I'm like, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> How does he know that word? He just turned the word muck around. He didn't know what it meant, guys. He didn't know what it meant. He had just, he, re he understood that I was turning words around the other way, but he didn't understand the implications. All right, uh, in, in Northrend, the zone in the northwest corner that's like a lush jungle. I think it was Sholzar Basin, it's been so long. It, um, it had like three rare spawns. Like, uh, what, like there was a T-Rex, there was a, a, a parrot thing, like a, a multicolored parrot, and there was one. Let me see if I can find it on this site. Hang on a sec. Let me see. Well, a see if I can spell it right. And there was this one bird, this really multicolored parrot. Here it is, and it was a giant one called Aetona. At the time that we were playing. Uh, Northrend, that we were playing the Frozen Throne, uh, it was very sought after. Unfortunately, Northrend was such a kind of a packed place, and this was such a trafficked area, this thing was killed constantly when it would spawn. And we had a hunter friend, he, we, we found out that he went to Shulzar Basin and would stand up in a tree, use that alarm thing that I told you guys about, where like he would do a target macro and the alarm would go off, and then he would lay down, like, and he had his computer right next to his bed. And so if the alarm get off, he would, like, uh, out of bed. Aotona. And try to find and tame this thing. And <laughs> I was talking to another friend of mine. So let, let's, say, let's say Bob is camped out in the jungle trying to get Aotona. And I'm talking to, let's say, Sam. I'm talking to Sam. I'm like... I was like, so it's just trying to do slash target Aetona just over and over and over and over and over. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, man, it'd be pretty funny if some player named Aetona walked by and set his alarm off. But it'd be a pain to get like a level one here for uh, just as a joke because, you know, it's this level 80 area. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, what if a hunter named their pet Aetona? And he goes, I have a hunter. I'll be right back. And he swaps characters, and he brings his level 80 hunter over there, and then he he renames his pet Aetona. And I'm like, all right, stow the pet, stow the pet. And he stows it. And we go running through the jungle, and we, we, we're spamming a target slash target Bob macro, and we find Bob in a tree. And I'm like, all right, let's come over here. And we get behind another tree, like, you know, 50 feet away. And we're behind the tree, and I'm like, all right, get Aetona out. And he gets the pet out, and we just stand there. And I, I count to, like, 10. And I'm, I'm imagining how fast someone can get their bleary eyes open and see something with an alarm going off. I'm like, okay, stow the pet, stow the pet. And he stows it, and then we run off. And we're watching him from, like, the farthest possible distance. And and, and, and Bob gets off, of, he's like, ah, and poof, falls out of the tree. And he's like, ah, and he starts running in circles, mounts up, and just takes off. And I don't know how, and we're just hiding. And he, he runs laps for, like, five, five, four or five minutes trying to find this thing and i don't know what time it was for him could have been 3 a.m for him i have no idea and he finally gives up climbs back into another tree parks his character and then his afk tag shows up presumably he set his alarm back on i'm like okay and so we we just chat and we just wait like five minutes for him to possibly doze back off again and then i'm like all right get aetona back out and he gets aetona back out and we count to 10 and then we stow it again and then he appears, uh, poof, falls out of the tree, starts to run around again. <laughs> and we did this. We did this, that whole process. We did that like four times before we, like, I think, I don't know if we gave up or if he just logged off. I didn't tell him, because, like, I didn't know Bob. I knew Sam, and Sam knew Bob. Like, Sam was the, the, the middle friend. And, like, two days later, uh, he comes back, and he's like, so I told, I, I was talking to Bob the other day and I couldn't help it. I'm like, oh, did you tell him? And he goes, yeah. I'm like, I bet, dude, he's going to be pissed. He goes, yeah, he was. I was like, yeah, I remember the other day when uh, you kept thinking that you, you're, you, uh, you saw Aetona and your alarm went off? And he's like, how did you know? What did you do? 
<laughs> and he's like, we made a hundred foot named Daytona. It was so funny. Do, 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 do. And he's like, well, what is weird? He's like, oh, it was Muck's idea. And I'm like, what? It was my hypothetical idea. <laughs> hypothetical. <laughs> and he just like totally was like, hey, wasn't this funny? Muck did it. And just like made this freaking st stranger, as far as I was concerned, hate me. <laughs> Legends say he's still on the tree. I don't know about that. 